Hello dear friends, this time I am working on something that it's a really a breakthrough in open source development. Um, I have here a cheap used uh, Aris uh, Logix, MicroLogix 1000 PLC from Alan Bradley uh, to which I have a serial connection and to which I wrote a simple program to showcase uh, what I'm about to show at the end. Um, by the way, everything here it's free. This is the uh, free version you can download from Brockwell Automation, which is the RS Logix Micro Starter Lite and the RS Lynx uh, Classic. Uh, both are free. All you have to do is create a user account and you will be able to download these two uh, pieces of software. So you can install, you can start to program your own uh, PLC at home without buying a license from Brockwell. Uh, this is all uh, free. All you have to do is buy a PLC and either buy a cable or make your own cable. Um, and what it what I wrote here is a simple program. All it does it, it's uh, reading input uh, zero, and it writes a value that is stored on N seven zero. Uh, it writes this into counter uh, zero accumulator, so it writes zero to that. So what it, this does, it writes zero into the accumulator value on counter five. Basically, it just resets it to zero. Then I have a, a, a internal bit from the from the PLC which is time base, and I think this is um, uh, one twelve hundred uh, milliseconds uh, bit that goes on and off with a fifty percent duty cycle. It's an internal uh, clock, free running clock on the PLC that you can use in your programs so I'm using that to increment the counter here so right now the counter is reached its uh, preset so that's why it's, it's done and it's disabling the pulsing on the output here and you also notice that I have uh, volume values uh, bit volume bit values in parallel with the input and with the output and the reason for that is going to be clarified later on. Okay, let me just go offline here. Let me shut down Iris Links here. I will shut it down. Really, guess uh, I need the port to be free. I need Iris Links will release the port. Let me minimize um, Iris Logics and open up. Um, Microsoft Visual Studio. As you know from my previous previous videos, I've been using uh, Visual Studio. I was using Visual Studio 2008. Now I'm using Visual Studio 2013 uh, because there's a lot of open source projects out there, like this one called Advanced HMI. It's an open source project. What is Advanced HMI? Advanced HMI is a set of files that include PLC drivers, like in this case, I'm using the driver for Allen Bradley DF1 that you can configure. If I click on DF1 here, it will tell you DF1, and all I have to do is set the, the attributes of that, which is uh, Sacred Industries Check, COM Part 3, which is the uh, USB to serial interface that I got there. And it comes with a whole bunch of, uh, sorry, let me hear, let's shut this, uh, okay, well, these uh, tools. Well, you can't, it, ha it comes with, uh, let's see if I can view that, tools, toolbox, there. 
that's a toolbox. Okay, so it comes with different drivers. DF1, Ethernet uh, for CLX and Micro 800, VLC5, SLC, R Modbus RTU, and so on and so on. Uh, Omron and TwinCat. And it also has a lot of uh, controls components like um, this digital panel meter, momentary push buttons, lights, uh, gauges. So all you have to do is drag and drop these components. Like if I want to say uh, grab a a gouge here, a gauge. Sorry. Grab one of these components. You can resize it. You can resize it. Apparently, I'm having a hard time trying to uh, hold the button on my mouse here. There. But you can resize it. And if you select it and you go to properties, you can relate that to some attributes on the PLC like to what address on the PLC is it gonna be looking at and what driver is it gonna be reading the values from let me get rid of that okay so in this case I just included a digital panel meter just pretty much like the ball meter or those uh, seven segment LED displays a momentary push button that looks pretty much like Alan Bradley's uh, design of push buttons. A lamp. And this is looking at the counter uh, accumulated value here. So if I select it and look at properties, it's looking at the driver and the counter accumulated value. And so the same goes for those, uh, the momentary uh, push button here. It look is looking at the volume value that I put in parallel with the uh, input and this one is looking at the output that I connected in parallel to uh, the coil on the relay so uh, once it's once you have set up your HMI Everything, you have to worry about coding. Everything is uh, done. All I have to do is drag and drop and um, set some properties. Pretty much like you do in panel view. Or, uh, you know, factory talk, a panel builder. You do pretty much the same. But this stands out because the controls look more natural. I've seen some panel view applications, factory talk applications. And I mean, like nowadays, from 5000 studio and they are pretty simple they're not like appealing this lock this looks more more much more like the real stuff so um and the plus side it's free you don't have to pay rockwell for this this is free totally free software and all you have to do is create your hmi your your software application and run it. So I'm gonna set the PLC on top of the machine here. I mean the, the uh, laptop. Let's say you have a push button in the machine, a physical one, and you want to start your cycle. Well, all I have to do is press start. You will count, and you have your uh, value incrementing on your HMI. And you can see how the LED is also blinking, pretty much like the one here. I can also go to the HMI and press the uh, value and it will do the same. And I can go to my physical button and reset it from there. So there you have it. A totally free set of softwares that will enable me to make a machine program a PLC without paying any license. Um, just fine. I mean, really invest in the software. It's really a waste of 
money and all that. Unless you are doing constant projects, your investment will return will happen. But if you're not into that, if you want to do an occasional uh, repair of your machine, let's say your panel view breaks down and you have no panel view, you can't have something in a PC and run your equipment from a makeshift uh, HMI. So I uh, hope you guys try it. I would like to congratulate the guys from Advanced HMI. They did a great job with it. I encourage our viewers like you to try it and create their own, their own HMI interfaces. Me, myself, I'm going to keep using it. Hopefully, I can get my hands on an Ombron PLC. I will definitely use it for my Arduinos um, uh, controller that I got right there. Already programmed with some Arduino uh, sketches using Marvus uh, RTU and TCP. So, comment if you like, thumbs up, and stay tuned for the more upcoming videos. Bye for now.